What can I give to you, O oh Father? When you are the Holy One who made it all. What can I say to you, O oh Savior? When you already know my every thought Your power is without measure Greater than any treasure Who can compare? Who can compare? Infinite God, greater than all creation who can understand infinite god ruler of every nation heaven and earth are in your hand well how can you love me so Jesus When you are so wonderful And I am so small How can you cherish me Sweet Savior I'm just a sinner You're the Lord is without measure worth more than any treasure who can compare who can compare infinite God greater than all creation who can understand infinite God ruler of every Heaven and earth are in your hands. Your grace is without measure. Worth more than any treasure Who can compare? Who can compare? Infinite God Greater than all creation Who can understand? Infinite God Ruler of every nation and earth are in your hands. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another encounter. Maybe you're joining us live on a Sunday night, or maybe you're tuning in a bit later or during the week. That's fine. Whatever it is, be welcome, and may you be blessed for having joined us. I'd really appreciate it if you could like the video and maybe subscribe to the channel. And even better, maybe say hi in the comments. It would be nice to just know who's watching and communicate with you. Let's do more than just consume content, but let's connect as we have these sessions together. Now, that first song that I just sang is called Infinite God, and it's one that I wrote a few years back when I first read chapter 3 of Anne Spangler's book, Praying the Attributes of God. And it talks about how God is infinite, or as she says, God is bigger than you think. And let's see what the Bible says about this. When Solomon had finished building God's temple, we read this in 1 Kings 8 verse 27. Will God really live on earth? Why, even the highest heaven cannot contain you. 
How much less this temple I have built. Have you ever considered just how big God is? For me, it hits me every time I go to the ocean, which is only once every couple of years. I'm a typical volley, right? <laughs> go to the ocean and it amazes me every time. And uh, I always look at this gigantic body of water and think, how great must God be? How big must God be that he holds the whole universe in his hand? I can just see this little stretch of water and it's not even, it's not even a fraction of the whole ocean. And yet God is so much greater. God is so much bigger. How, how huge he must be. Blows my mind every time. And that's why I wrote that song, Infinite God, greater than all creation. Heaven and earth are in your hands. Wow, it just boggles the mind. Now Spangler said this in the book. She said, by saying that God is infinite, we are saying it is impossible to measure him. He is without beginning or end and has no length, width, height or depth. Neither can space nor time consume him. He is without boundaries or limitations. He cannot be subtracted from or added to. He is immense, incalculable, unfathomable, unsearchable. I wonder if you think of God in these terms when you think of him. When you communicate with him, do you, do you think of him as this great, big, mighty God that he obviously is? Or do you minimize him, make him smaller than he is? John Piper uses a great analogy here, and he said this, to magnify God like a microscope is to take something tiny and make it look bigger than it is. If you try to do that to God, you blaspheme. But a telescope puts its lens on unimaginable expanses of greatness and tries simply to help them look more like what they are. Your life exists to telescope God's glory, in other words, to take God's greatness, the, the great expanse and wonder of God and make it, make it seen in your life and in everything that you do. Are you beginning to sense that God is bigger than your wildest dreams, that God is an infinite God? Are you beginning to stand in awe as we speak about this at the size and the majesty and the power of the God we serve? He's utterly beyond our comprehension and infinite in every way. And so we're going to sing a couple of songs that reflect this and that help us to get into this mindset. Look for words in these songs as we sing them that talk about how God is measureless, how God is great, how he is above and beyond our comprehension. And just let it, let it capture your soul and let your heart sing in worship as you consider just how big our infinite God is. You are beautiful beyond description to marvelous for words too wonderful for comprehension like nothing ever seen or heard who can grasp your infinite wisdom who can fathom the depths of your love you are beautiful beyond description majesty enthroned above and I stand I stand in awe of you I stand I stand in awe of you holy God to whom all praise is due I stand in awe of you. Let's sing it again. You are beautiful beyond description. To marvelous for 
too wonderful for comprehension like nothing ever seen or heard who can grasp your infinite wisdom and who can fathom the depths of your love you are beautiful beyond description majesty enthroned above and I stand I stand in awe of you I stand I stand Above all powers, above all kings, above all nature and all created things, above all wisdom and all the ways of man, you were here before the world began. Above all kingdoms, above all thrones, above all wonders the world has ever known, above all wealth and treasures of the earth, there's no way to measure what you're worth. and alone like a rose trampled on the ground you took the fall and thought of me Above all powers, above all kings, above all nature and all created things, above all wisdom and all the ways of man, you were here before the world began. Above all kingdoms, above all thrones, above all wonders the world has ever known, above all wealth and treasures of the earth, there's no way to measure what your worth. Crucified and laid behind a stone You live to die Rejected and alone Like a rose Trampled on the ground You took the fall You thought of me Above all Like a rose trampled on the ground, you took the fall and thought of me above all. 
Did you see those words? Who can grasp your infinite wisdom? Who can fathom the depths of your love? There's no way to measure what you're worth. We're talking about an infinite, infinite God here without measure. Do you realize that he cannot be measured? Do you realize how great he is as you sit and listen to this today? Don't microscope God. Don't think that he's small and think that you've got to blow him up for people to see. Realize just how great he is. Let your life be a telescope that brings him into view. But perhaps as we sang those songs, you caught the words of that last one. That this great, big, transcendent, infinite God came down to earth as a human being. That he was crucified. That he was laid behind a stone. The very God who who made this amazing universe and holds it in his hands came down to earth and was killed on a cross for you and I. Like a rose trampled on the ground, he took the fall, the thought of you and I, because of his great love. See, friends, we humans could never make things right with God by ourselves. We don't have what it takes to, to repair our relationship with God or even to connect with Him. He is so huge, so otherwise, so transcendent. Here we are, we're weak, we're, we're sinful. We make such a mockery of the great perfect God so often. It would take something infinitely loving to connect us back to God. It would take the perfect sacrifice to atone for what we've done. And that's the good news, friends, is that God did that. God made a sacrifice for you and I to connect with Him, even though He is so great and so transcendent and so infinite. Think about it. He came to earth and He died on a cross to reconnect us, little human beings, back to him he sent his son part of himself he was perfect he was sinless he was the the absolute epitome of what it means to be a human being and he gave him he gave himself up on a cross so that you and i could be reconnected to god that was a sacrifice of infinite worth you see friends it turns out the ocean is not the ultimate sign of an infinite god As much as it amazes me, the ocean is tiny compared to the ultimate picture of God's worth. You know what the ultimate picture of God's worth is and and his size and his measure? It's the cross. The cross is the greatest picture of God's infinite love that you and I could ever imagine. The cross where the infinite God himself gave himself up for us to bring us back to him. And so think about this infinite God today. Think about the size of this God. Think about how great he is. And then look at the cross. Look at a man hanging in pain. And see infinite love greater than anything else you'll ever know. Will you pray with me? Father, how can we ever, ever understand the infinite love that you have for us? Oh Lord, we come and we fall on our knees tonight as we, as we spend this time in worship. Father, we look up and we see your Son, part of you, perfect in holiness and without sin, hanging in pain. We see the same hands that painted the universe nailed into the wood. We see the crown of thorns on his head. We see the blood dripping down. Lord, we just stand in awe that the infinite God of the universe would lay aside his majesty, give up everything for us. Your love is truly without measure. And so we come worshipping and we come laying down our lives. Oh, Father, we don't want to just see Jesus on the cross and walk away. 
We don't want to see infinite love and ignore it. In this moment, Lord, we give ourselves to you. We give you our lives. We surrender to you. Oh, God of the universe, take us. Oh, God of the universe, we accept your love. And we give ourselves so that you can use us to show your worth however we can, Lord, like telescopes out in this world. So, friends, what does this mean for us going into our week? You know what it means? Is that the God of the universe is on your side. The infinite God in all his power and all his might is with you as you go into the week. The Bible said, if God is for us, who can be against us? Consider that. Consider the, the infinite God. If he is for you, who can be against you? Maybe you're facing massive challenges in the week ahead. Maybe you're facing health challenges, financial challenges, all sorts of other challenges. Maybe you're looking at your week thinking, how am I going to get through? Well, friends, know this. The infinite God, the measureless great God of the universe is on your side if you'll walk with him. And so I'm going to close with a song, a crossroads song, and I've asked the guys to join me for this one, so I hope you enjoy that. And just let these words stay with you this week. There is nothing too big for our God. My soul is thirsty I long for you My heart feels empty When I'm far from you I need your spirit Pour out your grace, Lord We need it so much You spoke the sun You breathed the stars And you hold them all Who can compare Almighty One There is nothing too big for my God No mountains too high with my God No road is too long Because of my Jesus Soaring on wings with my God I'll never let go Cause He is my everything And nothing's too big for my God I long to Worship you, God, with all my soul. You are the true God. Come make me whole. How beautiful your name, oh God. Stand alone. I trust in you and you alone. And I will lift my voice and sing. There is nothing too big for my God. No mountains too high with my God. No. He is my end.
strengthens me I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me There is nothing too big for my God No mountains too high with my God